So now we will talk about user experiences and thanks to the new technologies that this is now possible to create, to collect or to trade digital originals. And our next speaker will bring us to the metaverse and this stuff. And he is from Korea, Tokyo. Um, what there is behind, he will tell us. Please welcome Carsten Lamprecht. Good morning. Hi, good morning to Dimexco. I hope you had a good night. Uh, I want to show you something about the future of blockchain publishing. So maybe you can help me and share an impression of how deep you are in Web3 and uh, raise your hand to everybody who has a wallet. Okay, quite a few. Thanks for that. So I want to uh, tell you how Creatokia helps uh, publishers, authors and the fans to create great user experience in Web3. So why are we doing that? We all know that we can do great things with Web3 and with NFTs, um, but I think we need to do more than boring JPEGs and, and just speculative uh, images. And we think that education and great user experience are always missing. So that's why a lot of people are not having the, the best trust in, in everything what is new there. So Creatokia wants to help and educate and enable people to create, trade and collect everything we can do with Web3 technology. So that's why we invented Creatokia. And you see in our name everything what we are doing. So we want to talk to creatives to be able to create things, to have tokens and to go into this utopia where people, creatives and fans can get connected. And our solution is covering everything you know from the marketing mix. So we are at the Demexco. I think most of you know the marketing mix with all things around products, places, prices and promotion. And on top of that, now we have a new technology which is not so easy and as I've uh, told you, the, the education and the user experience is often missing. So we have solutions for all of that. I have only one technology slide with me just to show you what we are doing or what the technology behind that is on Creatokia. So the digital originals on our platform are ERC721 tokens on um, Ethereum. And uh, we have a lot of things done to have a great user experience to make it easy and to have a feeling like everybody else has with Web2 applications. So you have a checkout where you can go out with a credit card. We want to add PayPal as well. Um, we have uh, audited smart contracts. Um, they are audited by German companies so that we are adding everything what is needed to have more trust in these new type of projects and products. And on the other side, you see the uh, often talked about recurring royalties. So normally you have royalties which can be given to the publisher, to the author of a book or to anybody who has uh, done some creative work. And with our smart contracts, you have the um, option to add endlessly um, whatever you, you, you like to have as beneficiaries. So for a book author, you might have, for example, uh, people who have done illustrations or translations or whatever, and you can add them in the beneficiaries as well. And as mentioned, it's always a bit hard to enter these new worlds. So we have done two things. We have the Creatokia Academy. We started uh, in this year with uh, Creatokia and have learned a lot from our clients, from our publishers, from the products we have on our platform. So we want to share all these learnings to make better products. And again, to add to, to more trust to Web3 by having better products around us. That's the Creatokia Academy. And then we have Creatokia Blueprints, where you have um, ready to publish templates to get online within a day if you want to. You have to think about your project for sure, but the technology is there and we can go online very, very easy. So as mentioned in the Creatokia Academy, we have stuff for the product, the place, the price and the promotion. But before I show you some examples, uh, I want to have a view on the two guys and fellows on the left and on the right side. Because as always with products and, and uh, your marketing mix, you have to think about your target groups. And as mentioned, a lot of people are completely new to Web2, to Web3, and they are not aware of what they can do with wallets or with virtual reality. And why should I buy an NFT of a book or why should I get a token to your community? What you can do with Creatokia as well, so it's not only dedicated to books. 
So on the one side, you have the NFT fan with his Bluetooth headset and virtual reality glasses and all that stuff. So he is used to Discord, Twitter, augmented reality, everything what is normal for the Web3 scenario. But on the other hand, you have the book fan and he is more looking for good books. He wants to get in contact maybe with the author or with other fans. And he has no idea about crypto wallets, cryptocurrencies or this crypto checkout stuff, whatever it might be. So you have to prepare your things for these Web2 people as well. And to add more trust again and better user experience, we are focusing on that. So if we are starting with a marketing mix and have a look to the product possibilities, and I'm talking with a publishing background, but you can imagine whatever you are doing, um, you can take the book on top and the utilities at the bottom and put in whatever you are doing. For, for us with the publishers, for sure, the collectibles, the items I want to, to have in my wallet might be a book. So I'm a collector by heart. I'm a rock fan. I have every day a rock band around me on my shirt. I'm collecting vinyl records. I have some that are glowing in the dark. So my wife is not really understanding why I'm doing that. But it's in my DNA to collect things. And that's the same what people are doing with NFTs. And imagine you buy a book of a famous author and you have uh, one book with an uh, alternative ending, for example. So these are the collectibles. And on the other hand, you have the utilities, for example, a meet and greet with the author. But that's not all. You can do whatever you want to and add everything what can be digitalized into the NFTs. And with Creatokia, you can add unlimited unlockables to every NFT. It must not always be an airdrop, as you know it maybe and it can just be a new unlockable for your fans. So maybe the NFT fan is more looking for a wearable because he is a gadget guy or he wants to have a video content where a masterclass is only available if you have the right token, for example, or you want to have early access to more stories. And as I mentioned, we want to be more shiny, glossy, better user experience, not like OpenSea with products where if I'm talking to my father, he has no idea how to buy one of these NFTs. Um, so these are actual uh, screenshots of uh, Creatokia, and this is one of the product design examples. We went online with that in April, I think I remember. Um, the German Nonfiction Award. So there have been very famous books for the Nonfiction Award in Germany. There was a ceremony in Berlin, a huge party, a huge event. And we took these books from uh, famous publishers in Germany, put them on the blockchain. As you can see, see in the middle, it's a virtual reality room. What is very easy to be done with an NFT, put it on the wall. Uh, you can have the virtual glasses or go in with just a standard browser or your smartphone and then you can see the, the books at the wall and around that we have websites which are very Web2 friendly and you can read what it's all about. You can see the products and you can buy them and you can buy them with standard checkout. So we uh, have strictly limited uh, books there. We didn't want to sell a lot of them. We want just to show what is possible. And it was a huge success in the meaning of uh, the first book was sold out after 10 minutes. It was just 10 books. And it was one book with a board ape on, not a board ape, but an ape on the cover. So maybe that was uh, the, the, the reason behind that. Um, but this worked out quite well. And uh, here are some examples of these products. So this is one of the books. And for sure, we were adding the, the standard books, the EPUB file, which you can read on every um, EPUB reader if you want to. Um, you had a, a special cover design for the nonfiction award. And then there is a utility to enter the party, the ceremony in the next year if you bought the right book. And not to stop there, we added a lot of unlockables. As mentioned, you can add as many as you want to. And uh, in this case, uh, Stefan Kreuzberger for his book, Das Deutsch-Russische Jahrhundert, the German-Russian uh, century, he added a lot of um, content, images, confidential files, uh, a lot of stuff is was uh, the foundation to write the book. So if you're interested in the topic and you have access to all his foundation stuff, it's really interesting, I think. Um, yeah, this was one of the books. And as mentioned, um, for promotion purposes, we have a lot of templates where you can see here, it's uh, just the homepage of Creatokia. You see a newsletter from us. You see some marketing highlights. So for some of our books, we took, uh, for example, Ajua Ando, which you might know, who you might know from Bridgerton or The Witcher on Netflix. And they are narrating some of uh, the eternal masterpieces. So for example, you can listen to The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, narrated by a 
Ajoa Ando, Ando. And these are some of the masterpieces you can buy for 10 euro. And it's a checkout with just a credit card. So you can, if you want to, get into NFTs if you don't have one very easy today. Um, yeah, and then you have uh, templates for artist spotlights, for example. So if you are doing a marketing campaign and it's not important if it's a book or if you are doing whatever, most of the time we are doing in the marketing some kind of storytelling. And this can be added to your storytelling so that you can really very easy add a community to your product. And there are a lot of more uh, features in the Academy, um, which I don't put in here just to show you some of them. So most of you might be aware of the customer journeys and there again, you have to be aware of the two target groups. So the NFT fan, you might get his attention on a tweet, maybe. But a book fan might not be such a Twitter follower. So maybe you will find him more in a blog article. And we have a lot of information to understand how this are either principles uh, of attention, interest, desire and action. Or if we see it today, adding the influencer style at the end uh, and where you can get people into the right touch points. So. This is all stuff you can find online at Creatokia. So you can just go to the website and download um, a white paper where everything is in. And in a few days, we will open the Creatokia Academy where you'll find more information to get your project online. Then as an addition, we have these mentioned uh, blueprints. So we are in contact with all these big publishers and we are all learning a lot of things. So the publishers in the first days came to us and said, we want to just put a book on the blockchain. And I don't think that anybody will read a book on the blockchain in near future. But if you are adding the right benefits, utilities, unlockables, you can make great products out of that. And if you have a website, which is really with a good user experience so that people can read it and get dive deeper in, into your product, I think this is of help. And therefore, we have now these blueprints where we are adding all the stuff from projects we were doing so that everybody else can participate in all these um, yeah, ready to publish templates. So this is just an example. I'm writing a book and I created my own book cover. I have started my career in 1996 as an art director. So you see, I'm very creative. And as I'm so creative, I created another alternative book cover design uh, with Comic Sans, uh, very creative, I think. And now I, I'm looking into all these blueprint materials and just get inspired, what can I do with that? So you see, I can add the alternate cover design as an unlockable or as an airdrop in the future. And as you see, it's very, very shiny. People will buy it. But if not, maybe in 10 years, I will have the Pulitzer Prize and people will look back and they have a collectible like I have these shirts and all these vinyl records. And maybe one day the people will say, oh, this famous cast Namrecht has this famous book cover designed and I own one of 10 NFTs. So this might be one idea. Or you can add um, future airdrops to your community. So maybe I want to earn from writing my book before releasing the book. So I can build up a community, give them a community token, offer them the first chapters while I'm writing and getting money from other people who will then get in touch with the product, uh, book, book and product after that. So if I'm putting that into a strategic view, we can then use some of our technology. So on the one hand, we can start with some allow list features. So I have some followers on Twitter. So maybe I'm using my 2,000 followers and looking, okay, I'm giving away 1,000 community tokens for free. I just put them on Creatokia. Everybody can get one Crea token for free. Not one Crea token, one community token. So I can see if the community really commits to my project. After that, and this is an end drop as I'm written it here. So it's a number drop. I'm only having 1,000 of them. And my 2,000 followers are invited to download one of the community tokens. Then I can see how big the commitment from my community is and can go into phase two, where I'm offering the first chapter of my book. And again, I will offer it for free for everybody. And now I'm using a token gate only if they have the token of the community. So for one week, they can read the first chapter of my book for free. And after one week, Again, a tea drop, a time drop. After the first week, I'm opening the gate and everybody can download the book, the first chapter, but they have to pay five or 10 euros or whatever I want to have. And then I can add chapter after chapter, always having one tea drop for one week online for people from my community. So everybody with a community token or everybody 
who has bought one of the other chapters. So I can earn money while writing my book. And this is just an idea for a self-publisher who wants to, to earn some money by writing. You can use that for every marketing campaign as well to have a free community token to see what people are doing with your products afterwards getting them some free airdrops or adding product they have to pay for or whatever. You can use token gated content, put on content on the websites, which you only can see if you have the dedicated uh, token, for example. <clears throat> so th these are just some examples we will add to the Creatokia Academy and to just have some showcases what you can do with Creatokia. And you see there are um, roadmap drafts where you can see what you have to do. So this is just a very easy draft uh, to see how many weeks you need to set things up. As I mentioned, in one day you can be online, but uh, we all know you need to do something for the AIDA. So getting the attention, the interest, the desire and the action to buy or just download the, the free tokens afterwards. So I think uh, nothing can be faster than 8 or 12 weeks to really have an audience for you. So I'm going back to start, and as you see, the QR code, I don't know if it's uh, big enough. <laughs> I try to make it as big as, as it can be. There you can find more information on Creatokia, or you just go to Creatokia, or you follow me, Kazilas, or Creatokia to, to get more information. And if you want to, you can get a free NFT, uh, these PO apps, a proof of attendance uh, protocol at our stand there. Uh, we have a little stand there over um, where you can get that. So back to start and back to why uh, we said Web3 can be used for great use cases. And I think I've shown that you can integrate that in your marketing mix. So we have all that stuff and material for a full Web3 marketing suite with the loudest and token gate content and early access to products or community features and so on. And then I said we want to educate and have a better user experience. I think or I hope you have seen that we try the best to have really a shiny user experience and good content elements which you can use for, for your campaigns. And at the end, add something like the audited smart contracts, for example, to really show that everything is right and secure. And at the end, we say we want to educate and enable. Therefore, we created the academy and the blueprints so that everybody can really get very fast into Web3. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Thank you very much to be here. If you have questions, just come to my stand and uh, furthermore at 3 p.m. I'm talking again at the pizza stage behind there to some other topics around Creatopia. Thank you. Thank you, Carsten.